so my buddy's farm is odd. B13, with bro late summer night. Camping outside a friend's farm, only 25 feet from his house's deck. Cornfield 10 feet behind our tent. Playing Game Boy. Hear corn shuffling and breaking behind us. Buddy WTFs, puts down Game Boy. Creaking stops, hear faint movement now. See a faint shadow of a figure from the deck light. It moves closer and a tall lanky figure projects onto the tent wall. Hello. Is that you mom? Silence. I'm so scared I can't breathe. Then the worst happens. Fucking figure places its dark elongated hand on the tent. The tent starts shaking. We start to panic and scream. The hand moves and the tent stops shaking. Our screams wake up my friend's father who runs outside to the tent. Tells us he's seen something running into the cornfield and to go inside. Nope all night. Buddy's dad hopped onto the four-wheeler with his gun and drove around the farm for a few hours afterwards. He didn't turn up anything but he can't explain what he saw. Same farm a few months later. Buddy calls me to back window overlooking the deck and field. Anon get the hell over here look at this. I'm not playing. Look out window. See what appears to be a dark figure moving in the field. Corn clearly moving unnaturally and in a direction. Buddy is convinced we've just seen something, I'm not so sure. Try to chill in his living room noping about what just happened. His six-year-old brother walks upstairs from his room. Oh Ben sleepwalking again. This wasn't out of the ordinary as his bro would do this once every few months, he usually would speak in mumbles and have his eyes half closed. But this was different, his eyes were wide open and he spoke clearly. Follow Ben's sleepwalking procedures, engage soft voice. Hey Ben, let's go back to bed. Completely ignoring us he walks right to the big bay windows and looked up. Come on buddy it's okay let's go. I know it's okay Anon, they are watching us. Fear level at 55% captain. Okay Ben but we have to sleep. Still staring at the sky. But I want to see them, they're here now very close now. Maximum fear reached. I'm about to puke so my buddy gets up grabs Ben's hand and gently starts guiding back him to his room. It's okay Ben time for bed. There's nothing you can do. Nope nope nope. Ben had no memory of it the next day like usual, but damn it was freaky hearing a six year old speak like that. 